सदफ आ गए तुम कहा थे लाल जी जान मैंने सुना पिछली बार आप बहुत टाइम पास कर रहे थे पॉडकास्ट पे मेरे बिना अपनो क्या अपनो तो फाइन निकाल मतलब टाइम पास करने आता है तो ठीक है अब मैं आ गया हूं थोड़ा सीरियस बिजनेस हो जाए आज यही तो यही तो नहीं चाहता था मैं लेकिन चलो कोई बात नहीं कर लेंगे ये भी सह लेंगे थोड़ा चलो फिर सीरियस बिजनेस डिस्कस करने के लिए आज हमारे साथ हैं जोएब सो जोएब इज द फाउंडिंग मेंबर ऑफ सॉस वीसी तो सॉस वीसी क्या है इट्स अ वेंचर कैपिटल फर्म व्हिच इन्वेस्ट एंड पार्टनर्स विद स्टार्टअप्स इन द एफएनबी पर्सनल केयर and lifestyle segments obviously as you would guess we care about the li- about the fnb part not the lifestyle part and he's also a podcaster he has a podcast called brands decoded uh, please do check that out as well so welcome zoeb hi guys uh, thanks for having me hi zoeb welcome mai chhootte hi bilkul chhootte hi ek sawal hai mera बताइए कि हमने तो ऐसे मार्केट में सुन रखा है एक बड़ी लजीज सी डिश होती है उसका नाम है सासनी मच्छी ओके तो ये आपकी कंपनी का नाम सासनी वीसी क्यों है सॉस वीसी ऐसा क्या है सीक्रेट सॉस क्या है इसका हाँ सो यार अलग अलग एंगल है इसके सो फर्स्टली it's sauce is a food product right so we invest in fnb brands and consumer brands so uh, it gets that clarity uh, the second bit is that it takes many different ingredients to make a sauce and uh, as a vc firm we like to believe that uh, apart from capital we have all the ingredients that you need to uh, uh, scale up your business in a time and capital efficient manner um, there's also how secret sauce is like you said you know we have the secret sauce to make you scale up or in general how to help you uh, run your startup or run your company etc and i think uh, uh, you know because it combines these three aspects also as a name it's it's simple it doesn't it, it's not a very serious name it's it's a bit um, and it's a, in a way a bit anti vc vc kind of name because most vc firms have like super uh, serious names and i just felt that uh, i mean sorry we felt that with the with, the, with this kind of name it also represents the kind of investors we are and i felt it sort of came together and uh, i remember when manu uh, you know my boss when he had shown me the uh, the name right i was like yeah it sounds good <laughs> so yeah. that's the secret sauce when you say we yeah right how many are there kitne sauce ke bottle hain aapke dukaan mein so yeah um, right now we are a team of 7 um, wow. so uh, it it started with just uh, manu and me manu is the founding partner uh, uh, at sauce and then yeah. i joined in as uh, founding member and the first employee mm-hmm. uh, apart from me there uh, that we have uh, another director who's joined us we've got another associate two more analysts and a team ea nice great so uh, we'll come to the other part of the entire vc and the kinds of stuff that you uh, sort of a fund or mentor or whatever word that sure. you like we'll come to that later because that's one question i really want to understand uh lekin second is ki aapke website pe na you have uh, this thing says a d to c which is direct to customer uh, consumer yeah. uh, food brand mein invest karte hain right sure ab uh, to ye pehla to d to c what is ye company se d to c hai wo kyun hai aur kya hai um, and uh, why not sell the like good old retail way कि दुकान जाके right. जिस तरीके से ऑफ द शेल्फ चीजें मिलती हैं वैसा क्यों नहीं right. तो ये दो क्लैरिटी चाहिए मुझे सो ओके सो सी डी टू सी स्टैंड्स फॉर डायरेक्ट टू कंज्यूमर व्हिच बेसिकली मींस दैट ए कंपनी इज सेलिंग टू द कंज्यूमर विदाउट एनी मिडलमैन राइट सो सम गुड एग्जांपल्स ऑफ डी टू सी कंपनीज इन इंडिया वुड बी समथिंग लाइक अलिशियस और कंट्री डिलाइट वेयर यू यूज देयर ऐप और इंटरफेस डायरेक्टली टू ऑर्डर द प्रोडक्ट एंड दे मैनेज द एंटायर थिंग ऑन देयर ओन अम why are companies starting to you know experiment with this uh, channel it's basically because uh, uh, on digital you know there is uh, i mean at least there was less competition and there wasn't as much uh, 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 you know uh, clutter of legacy brands you know there is more space for a new digital age brand to come across so isliye hum log ne you know we wanted to sort of go after this theme and uh, you know to answer your other question why not go after retail uh, i think you're absolutely right matlab for that scale uh, 
ब्रांड्स हैव टू गेट इनटू रिटेल एंड इवन लाइक सम ऑफ द बेस्ट डी टू सी कंपनीज राइट उनका भी थोड़ा रिटेल प्रेजेंस रहता है वेरी फ्यू कंपनीज आर एबल टू बी यू नो ट्रू ट्रू डी टू सी बहुत कम कंपनियां कर पाती हैं एंड आई थिंक आई फॉरगॉट द लास्ट बिट टू योर क्वेश्चन and so i mean you're saying kam log reh pati so that's something so why not start with that like why not ah, the other okay. way yeah so see um uh, so so okay so for example it dep- again depends on the company right so i'm going to take two examples i'll take the whole truth which is uh, one of our portfolio yeah. companies which makes clean label uh, snacking products and i'll take a company like just a heads up well, just a heads up on that alchit and i love that product we are are <laughs> we're just fan of the whole truth and we have talked a lot about the whole truth yeah all right that's great to hear guys i'll pass on the uh, uh, compliments to shashank yes please yes um and it, another company i'll talk about is uh, xyxx which is a men's innerwear uh, product yes. right um so xyxx uh, started off also with a little bit of retail and starting to do in offline because uh if you look at that market the largest player is jockey in that mass premium segment and wo uska more than like you know 83% to is just general trade 10% is uh, you know through its own uh, exclusive stores matlab e-commerce to uske annual report mein ab they started to mention pehle to hota hi tha hota hi tha mention nahi hota tha pehle mm-hmm. and um Uh, therefore for a brand like that they have to get acceptance in retail first and then you look at something like whole truth because mm-hmm. uh, in protein bars it's already an existing category there are so many brands that existed then you have to break from the clutter and their digital can work really well there uh, and especially with a very differentiated brand and a very sort of uh, uh, different outlook of how your product should be uh, like like we have with the whole truth so that ends up working better for digital okay and overall i would say that you know for both of them uh, eventually for scale for both of these brands they'll have to be omni channel matlab they'll have to be everywhere right mm-hmm. um but what digital really helps is that it it gives some degree of non linearity to your uh, to your growth or to your recognition for example mm-hmm. uh, with the whole truth right that brand story went viral right because it's so different and virality matlab wo to it just happens right it doesn't uh you, you try for it but you can't really manufacture it unless you really know what you're doing right um so i think that's why uh you need to be able to understand respect both to get the best for mm-hmm. both to then scale up your business because uh right now the incumbents or the legacy guys uh only understand distribution very well they don't understand digital as well so you need to learn how to do mm-hmm. both mm-hmm. so that's interesting that you said what you said about virality i It's totally true. I mean, Sadaf won't uh, uh, agree because he, he, most of his posts go viral. But on <laughs> Twitter, if I post about, say, the economics of wheat, I post a thread, one yeah. like, two like. Yeah, last week I posted about the movie RRR, and I like, got one thousand <laughs> retweets. What? <laughs> That's yeah. there's there's a reason why a masala movie works better than uh, normal yeah. usual movies like Pankaj Tripathi's or the exactly. Nawaz Singh movie, right? So, yeah. yeah. So very interesting. because you mentioned about you know uh, having both kind of presence so i could i could think of two three things here sure um i use one plus phone for example uh yeah. one plus started with d2c uh yeah. or actually that is invite only d2c which i was reading yesterday only nothing is coming up with a phone as well now and the same process of invite only phone um so they now have called quote and quote experience stores right yeah. i think you still buy the product there so they switched uh, when you mentioned about licious fresh to home uh, such kind of brand i have not seen licious ka dukan but fresh to home i have seen uh, one or two places where there is a store right again call it experience center or whatever you want to call it but there are such things uh, and on the other hand you have got the an example think of is decathlon yeah um, very much on ground and suddenly now they are doing all this online so what i mean because you are now a new age entrepreneur right so uh, or you are seeing this new age trend what's the deal like which is important uh, or like chicken egg which one should be first yes. in the modern times um uh you know 
just depends on the business, right? Uh, I think, uh, for example, wherever, so, so two, let, let me talk about it in two parts, right? Uh, one is putting the consumer experience first, and secondly, where your consumer sort of typically shops at, okay? Um, mm-hmm. So let's say, uh, let's say with OnePlus or or even LensCart, why did they come up with uh, these experience centers? Because there are some consumers who still want that touch and feel of the product, and uh, that just makes it a more superior experience, right? Like for especially like a consumer electronics phone that you mentioned. Abhi wo nothing ka waitlist maine bhi abhi sign up kiya. So hopefully, uh, uh, or or if you see that waitlist image, it's just some parrot on you know the phone, right? I would love to see yes, the phone yes. in my hand. What it feels like? Is it as cool as it looks? Right. Um, yeah. So I'm one of those consumers. So if if for your company, your product, that experience is essential, uh, mm. uh, you should definitely work towards building that kind of experience center or have that retail presence. In some businesses, it's it's not needed altogether. For example, I would say uh, where the uh, buying or the purchasing decision is very impulsive or small. For example, I think, uh, let's say, you know, testing a trial product or like a trial cream or something, you don't really need to see it in a store, right? If you take a mangalia, you'll use it. Uh, whereas mm-hmm. if it's a, uh, uh, you know, uh, let's say clothing or, you know, uh, uh, or let's say high ticket purchase item, you would want to, or like a home decor product, you would prefer to see it how it looks in person, right? So uh, even though it can happen off, uh, online, but there are in, inherent uh, advantages of building that experience online. And the second is mm-hmm. where your customer is typically shopping, right? So for example, um, uh, let's take like grocery basket products, right? Let's say like a uh, epigamic Greek yogurt, right? Now, dahi dahi is such a thing that you remember at night, I need dahi in the morning or, you know, weekly aapki purchase basket ho rahi hai. so you you know you it's a product you add over there it's unlikely you will see an instagram ad and you rem- maybe you remember the brand but you know ki aap sirf website pe ja ke aap khareed rahe ho that's why something like an yeah. epigamia which is sort of an older brand uh, is is excellent in retail right because that's where the consumer shops that product so you have to yeah, be yeah. Uh, cognizant of these things right hmm. and does d2c also reduce the entry barriers to enter a new segment. Say, for example, I want to start selling biscuits. I can start making them at home, get all the regulations sorted and probably sell them online versus say earlier I had to set up a factory, uh, yeah. pay commission to you know stores, which I don't have to do now. Yeah, uh, uh, fair point. See, I think that, uh, uh, I, I think that, Yes, the barrier to entry is lower uh, if you actually know how to build it digitally and if you understand right. performance marketing. And right. especially if, if your incumbent is not being very active there, right? right. For example, right. Uh, in food and beverage, in fact, I don't think uh, incumbents have really you know, started spending on digital as much. Whereas um, in certain categories, like let's say beauty and personal care, yeah, I mean, the incumbents have started to spend. It's very expensive to try and attract consumers there. Or, right. um, or let's say just in the case of, you know, innerware since, you know, we, I work on XYXX, Jockey does spend and has started spending. It's still not a very major chunk of their overall revenue. So they're not going to uh, be as focused on it as perhaps you would as a startup. But uh, uh, it, it definitely isn't watched. And the second thing that you pointed out, right, apart from smaller MOQs and uh, you know, uh, other aspects, you can definitely run a lot more experiments, right? Ki achha, main ye pricing try karta hon, main ye, uh, design try karta hon. let me try this copy, let me try this. And that kind of experimentation to do in retail is not that easy. Uh, it's much easier to do it in online. And, and, uh, uh, and that's what a lot of brands do. You know, we didn't test out these things, uh, or even a new product, for example, it's much better to do it online first. Right. MOQ is medium, uh, minimum order quantity. Right? Yes, minimum order right. for our yeah. listeners out there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for clarifying. You need to show note. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So, ek, as a VC, of course, uh, one thing that you always, not always, but most often, uh, focus on is how much money came from. It means how much money came from. So, financial numbers and all that, right? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, what do you look when investing in food brands? Ki, apart from the money part, 
और क्या है वट मोटिवेट यू करता है As the good old wise men and women have always said, money is not the only factor. Yeah. Who said this? This sounds like an incomplete quote, and you just made it up. <laughs> yeah. कोई बिहार कोई हमें तो गांव में कोई बोल रहा था. बोलते 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 उसको हार्ट टाइग आ गया और मर गया. Okay. Because money mattered, बच्चा हॉस्पिटल नहीं पाया. तो. हाँ. Sorry. So, so the point uh, being that what do you uh, look? Point being, what do you look uh, apart from the money part that is, may return it aaya karke. Uh, what's the yeah, um, skin? See, even see on the money part, right? I don't think it's uh, it's not such a straightforward decision, right? I think it's more about us finding the right entrepreneur or founding team to work with. You know. Um, because so sauce comes in super early i mean uh, since you guys are fans of whole truth i'll give that example right um we spoke to shashank when he just had a vision of ppt for his company and protein mm-hmm. bar ke matlab panch che samples the aise matlab hume jo aaye the office mein he must have was obviously made a few more but that was it right it's not beyond or nothing more than that and at that point of time uh, you know if i started thinking about market size of protein bars and you know all of that stuff it wouldn't have been uh, a very obvious investment right and even then kacha agar hum 1 crore dal le ye 10x ho payega ki nahi we can't start thinking so in such a micro manner it's hmm. about saying that okay what is this guy's vision his vision is i want to bring trust back into packaged food okay hmm. Hmm. that is his vision is that a large enough vision uh, to build a large enough company Yes, you know. After looking at that vision, the question then becomes about: uh, Is your uh, journey or is your differentiation thought through, right? Uh, right. In, in terms of your GTM, your product differentiation, your brand differentiation, uh, maybe something around supply chain and how you will see that scale up at time. Um, so all of these things we sort of look at, and obviously for food specifically, I would say that uh, it has to taste good. I mean yeah. that is. Um, मतलब इफ इट डजेंट टेस्ट गुड फॉरगेट अबाउट वट एवर एंगल यू वॉन्ट थिंक अबाउट इट हैज टू बी अफोर्डेबल इन इंडिया प्रीमियम फाइन यू कैन प्राइस एट प्रीमियम बट इट डजेंट स्केल बी ऑन अ पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एंड इट हैज टू बी एक्सेसिबल ऑल्सो कमिंग टू माई अर्लियर पॉइंट ऑफ हाउ यू नीड टू बी वेर योर कंज्यूमर इज एंड जस्ट सॉर्ट ऑफ कमिंग बैक टू द डिफ्रेंसिएशन पार्ट्स राइट इफ आई लुक एट द होल ट्रूथ प्रोडक्ट राइट आई रिमेंबर Uh, very distinctly when i tried it for the first time um i mean manu and i we tried it together and we both looked at each other we were like wow you know it this tastes good and yeah. conviction uske baad usse bhi aati hai ki apart from you know uh, his entire vision on how his product would be different his uh, brand thinking everything all that is great and the product tastes good so becomes easy to invest after that right yeah. and go ahead tada So I think the primarily you're saying is, uh, of course, there's flavor, uh, which is important, uh, and may not be the money. And money is not the only factor which uh, at yeah. least pushes you to invest in a company. Exactly. That that is uh, definitely one of the factors, but uh, uh, not. It's not the main factor. It's it's much more than that. Always, yeah. always has been. Right. There's an interesting quote by uh, I think Benedict Evans. He, I read this on Twitter. he said that uh, vc provides rocket fuel to companies and if you're building a rocket then you know a rocket rocket fuel is useful for you but if you're building say a, a lawn mower then rocket fuel might actually do damage to you so what kind yeah. of food companies say tomorrow i want to start a food company yeah what kind of food company should not go to a vc and ask for money so a good question um Hmm. I mean, I think. Because Papa's money. I mean, <laughs> honestly, ऐसा कोई दिमाग में आ नहीं रहा यार. If there is any particular kind of food company which shouldn't go, because um, okay, so I think it's clear to just sort of clarify what the VC does. One is right. gives money, and right. so VC like Sauce also gives. support and partnerships and wagera ecosystem wagera wagera absolutely so uh the latter anybody can make use of that whether it's even a 
company which doesn't really need capital to be mm-hmm. honest mm-hmm. uh the first as- aspect capital can be detrimental if um the if it damages the company long term right so i would say that there is no specific businesses but there are businesses if they get overcapitalized or if you know they end up getting a very high valuation very quickly and uh, you know or the founders get too diluted all these things can work against the long term interest of the company being a successful outcome right so uh, your quote still holds true uh, i can't give a very good example specifically for a food brand but yeah your quote is still true in fact my first company was a uh, where i worked at it was a bootstrap company and we built a global business out of india without any venture capital backing so right it, it can work either way man great great uh, so on on that um ek aisa break lenge uh break iske liye nahi jaate kyunki abhi hum jo ep se puchhenge ki hum kaun kaun sa idea dale aur hum kaise paisa nikalenge jo ep se um मिलते हैं ब्रेक के बाद हमें भी पैसे का जरूरत है हम भी गरीब हैं <laughs> हमारी भी चड्डियां विड्डियां बिक रही हैं एक साइड खैर कोई बात नहीं ब्रेक के बाद मिलते हैं Hello everyone it's been another great week on the IVM podcasts network on the habit coach podcast we bring you a pride month special episode fertility specialist Dr Yuvraj Jadeja talks to Ashton about safe queer sex practices On the Filter Coffee podcast, Karthik speaks with Rahul Thappa, managing director of Naviga on the watchmaker's craft. On Smarter with Sid, Siddharth ponders over how content creator PewDiePie manages to stay relevant. On Hanswani, a tribal woman takes a stand against her abusive husband in the story Var. And on Ek Chuski Finance, Priyanka highlights the importance of estate planning. We've got some exciting news for you. IVM Podcast has just launched its merch. and our first line is out now head to the ivm podcasts website and click on the shop tab to check out our first collection of t-shirts do follow us on social media we are ivm podcasts on twitter facebook instagram and linkedin and remember if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter do tell a friend also don't forget to rate us on any platforms that you're listening on and you can also check us out on youtube We're also doing a small listener survey to better understand how you respond to our shows and advertising on the network. We would really appreciate if you could spare a few minutes to fill it. It helps us build better shows for you. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week. Cap Gemini, Intel V Pro and Intel. Future bana wonderful with Intel powered laptops. And we're back with Zoe from Source VC. So, Zoe, slightly long question, so bear with me. most food consumed in india or actually anywhere in the world historically if you see over the last say thousands of years is created at a small scale people cooked for their family zyada se zyada community ke liye aas paas padosiyo ke liye people from say your area your gaon unke liye banate the khana but in the last 50 to 60 years in fact more recently in india we've seen the advent of packaged food product sold at a large scale everywhere in the world for me personally the biggest issue with these foods and not for me personally but for a lot of people is that the harmful ingredients and preservatives that have been added in them uh bad oils sugars what not everybody knows now these massive trade offs have been made to optimize for profit and i'm not saying profits are bad or there should be regulation no i think profits are great it's just that i think there's a correction that is due do you see that happening do you see companies that are seeking say a good bottom line good profit good revenue without making these uh, trade offs uh, especially in the food space food and beverage space um yeah i mean that's a interesting question and uh, i think for sure you know I, so for example if i take your entire uh, you know the way you described that example right and i uh, look at uh, the example of let's say cup noodles in japan right i i don't know if you guys seen that youtube video about nissin um and yes it's a packaged product yes it has preservatives but at the same time it's solved for uh, a hunger problem in japan right, right. so right. uh sometimes packaged food can have a positive effect despite you know some food brands uh putting harmful chemicals etc though that's another extreme you have mm-hmm. 
uh, th these kind of outcomes also. The second is also, uh, I think, as a society, right, uh, these wide variety of foods uh, is also really good for us as a society, right? You can, for example, having that option to have probiotic uh, Greek yogurt, which is healthy for you, or for example, people who are realizing now I've got like a gluten intolerance or right. a lactose intolerance, being able to get those options, right? So there are these, uh, 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 you know, benefits which can help in specific micro examples or maybe in, you know, that's mm. in the case of Japan, a macro example. But having said that, um, overall, I think the narrative of capitalism, which has been that, okay, it's this evil profit machine, is, is I, I feel a bit misunderstood. Um, Agree. Because uh, overall, you know, capitalism has done so much to benefit mankind a lot more than it hasn't, right? Uh, Absolutely. It, it, and having said that, I think the future is going to be conscious capitalism, right? And, and I am a firm believer in that, right? So um, I think the example I like to give is this company called Chobani, right? Uh, it's Chobani. A, it's a US, uh, US run uh, Greek yogurt food brand, right? Right. Um, and it was started by this immigrant from Turkey. And mm -hmm. his vision, his name is Hamid Ulakaya. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but right. his vision was uh, that, you know, back home in Turkey, you know, we used to get this really nice, fresh Greek yogurt at home. And, you know, it used to be with fruits. It was really tasty. It was so wholesome. And when I come to the United States, I didn't have that same kind of experience. Right, right. right. Um, so literally his idea for a business started with spreading goodness. And that's why he started with his range of products. That's one. Right. And secondly, when he ran the business, right, this guy, you know, he doesn't come from money. He didn't have any capital or anything. He figured it out that, okay, I'm going to speak to a bunch of guys. I'll take out a loan. He set up his entire factory in an actually broken down factory in New York State. And he set up that entire uh, factory up again. And he provided employment to all those folks in that town, which were sort of losing jobs. They were really dependent on this one broken down factory. He's trying to get those people jobs. And at, right. at, at a third level, he's not this one guy controlling all the profits, right? He gives back to his employees, even uh, someone who's not, uh, let's say, a typical white collar worker. Yeah. They have a stake in the company or they have uh, some alignment, right? That's the kind of capitalism which I think uh, uh, is, is much better, much more empathetic and uh, probably the way forward in my view. Um, so there are companies already doing it, right? And in India, um, I, I do think, uh, at least from my experience with interacting with a lot of Gen Z folks or a lot of these new companies are coming up, uh, sustainability is, for example, a theme which is uh, coming up very clearly. And right. even at Source, we're, you know, uh, we, we do know that it's going to take time for that education and awareness to, uh, you, know, uh, you know, become a very mass thing. But uh, but th that is the direction we want to move in. And honestly, uh, um, uh, I mean, yeah, we have to bet where the future is going to be, but we also want to bet where we want the future, where we want the future to be. Um, so, so yeah, so that's, that's how I'd put it. You know, uh, a uh, line, hai, I think, Hera Feri movie, ki hai, uh, <laughs> where Parish Sawal comes and Parish Sawal says, uh, to the Dev Manus Nikla de Baba. So the reason I'm saying Dev Manus is because again, both of us, Arjit Rai, uh, come from a school of thought where do we do believe uh, that capitalism is very highly understood. People don't necessarily, and because every time we talk about capitalism, we talk about the cronies, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's a very interesting part that you're mentioning about that as of now, uh, you clearly mentioned that it has done a lot more great stuff than the negative things. And of course, every great thing also comes with the, great, the negative aspect. Yeah. But I like the way when you're saying about conscious uh, capitalism, right. uh, I think, I think we need to teach our kids. Matlab, <laughs> and at least not that I'm aware of. Uh, <laughs> uh, conscious capitalism is the way to go, I think. And uh, yesterday only I was actually reading up somewhere. And then what you mentioned about it, sustainability. Uh, I think it is trend-wise as well. Uh, it's really growing. Like people are yeah. now migrating towards. And they are okay, I believe, is to pay a little premium, to little pay extra buck. Uh, just because it's now sustainable or the good old method of slow cooking or slow fashion, uh, which is now coming back uh, or artisanal or small, uh, yeah, yeah. smaller produce. Right. So, yeah. 
absolutely agree and just to follow up as well so i think the free market will correct to an extent i mean not completely but for example uh, so many food companies they're hiding the ingredients so they're putting the ingredients at the back in very small font and here comes a company who whose usp is to do exactly the opposite and yeah. that's how they're standing out the whole truth food so it's yeah. so i think there will be a counter movement or there is a counter movement happening uh, to solve for problems created by you know yeah I, it's uh, interesting you yeah. bring that up again because uh, i i'm not sure if it was which regulatory body i think the fssai which is saying that now aapke yeah. zomato swiggy may be we'll put yes. that, uh, calorie yeah. count right and I, i think that's a good step right ki thoda you know anyway you don't know what's inside that but you can at least let me know the calorie <laughs> count right so yeah 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 yeah, yeah. great and coming to technology specifically we in the newspaper at the surface level hear a lot about food tech and it's usually about you know swiggy or uh, zomato getting funded but i'm sure there's more to food tech than just uh, those two players in the market what's exciting uh, that's happening with technology in the fnb space according to you um see uh, i mean there are a bunch of different companies i think that uh, my understanding also is not the best uh, in overall in this food tech space but i'll t- talk about some of the companies that have come across which are interesting to us right um right. Uh, for example there was a company called zfw uh, which runs dark stores across uh, urban urban cities and essentially what it's trying to do is uh, you can get access to let's say a high quality food brand uh, much in a far quicker manner to your to your home you can get it home delivered because you've got mm-hmm. these micro warehouses spread across the city as opposed to that brand servicing it from that particular retail outlet right right right, right. so it's 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 solving for warehousing logistics and especially cold chain because uh, india you know at least 5 10 years ago did not have the best infrastructure for transporting frozen or cold products and we have right. a, some a lot better uh, infrastructure around that right now Uh, the second stuff that i've seen is maybe something around ar you know uh, folks trying to give you that same experience of what the product would look like the food item uh, you know once you go to a restaurant and you know seeing how how that sort of works uh, there's also stuff around automate automation right automated pizzas and uh, you know there's also at home cooking devices and what not see uh, uh, both and see for both of those right um i'm not that convinced on that kind of proposition because uh, almost i mean there have been like so many brands which have tried to do that even softbank put in like i think billions of dollars into this automated pizza company and now right. you know now made sense because uh, sometimes with food you need that human touch right i think definitely um, uh, i think stuff which has worked better in my opinion is uh, not necessarily in the creation of food but in the dispensation of food distribution of food and uh, uh and the let's say in the supply chain on the back end side i think that's where i've seen more interesting stuff so for example um there's a company called farmers fridge which runs in france uh, and you know danone has invested in that um they've got uh, you know fresh food in your in your offices which is sort of stocked on a daily basis a uh, far better sort of ui ux for the consumer to get that product um or for example uh uh let's let's take uh, oh yeah uh, f- for example on the logistics side right uh, uh let's say with the whole truth right they've had a chance to partner with uh suppliers who get their product on time um at that particular temperature control and uh maintain it within those sort of uh, uh right conditions right all that is sort of important to uh, make sure the quality of the products sort of stays the same right, right. um but yeah i think that's that's like a flavor of uh, uh what i've seen so far got it it's interesting because food is unique in the sense that there's so much potential for variability and there are multiple right answers like uh a good say you know a good phone is a good phone 
nonetheless but a good but good food could be a uh, bad food for somebody else and that, that actually brings yeah. me to my next question there's so, there's so much diversity in how india eats people in yeah. kerala eat differently than somebody say in yeah. uttarakhand my family for example is punjabi most punjabis yeah. do not like coconut at all yeah is that a challenge for d2c food brands especially while scaling or it's an opportunity to create you know multiple product lines no i, I don't think i see it as a challenge in fact i think it's 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 kind of good it's in that manner so for example right. i'll take two companies right uh, we had invested in this company called postcard and then now right. part of win greens yeah they do like regional specialties from across the country right so you you so in a way you're catering to these multiple different tastes but the insight we got there was that people in delhi are ordering south indian snacks people in bangalore are ordering these north indian snacks because oh, they're sort of missing yeah. and, and i mean even if you belong to that culture right uh, uh let's say for for different families i think that uh, the whole point of india is that you experience those diverse cultures right you get to try out these different foods um and and i think we you can resonate that with a food brand right uh, or for example you could have something uh, like an ice cream brand right ice cream sells in gujarat maharashtra north india telangana and matlab ice cream har jagah bikta hai it's right. it's just amazing it doesn't right. matter uh, because something like dairy is still a very uh, uh, indian thing right it's not necessarily a south indian thing or just a punjabi thing it's it's not right it's 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 all encompassing so You you can have both scenarios to be honest. Badiya. So that's why our food is going well. So we eat so much food. It's a diversity in India that we I think won't run out of topics to talk about. Oh, not at all. So basically, the idea is that you see, you invest ice cream, everyone will eat. Ah, I I will agree. Summer to winter doesn't matter. Will there be ice cream investment next time? <laughs> Summer to winter. That's the key. Awesome. So. अब हम पहुंच चुके हैं अपने आखिरी श्रृंख क्या बोलते हैं श्रृंखला 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 बोलते हैं लास्ट लेग ओके लेट्स लेट्स कीप इट इंग्लिश लास्ट लेग वेयर वी टॉक अबाउट आवर फेवरेट अंडर एंड ओवर रेटेड फूड सो जो वी स्टार्ट एक्चुअली इट्स फेवरेट लेट्स गोट इजी वर्ट्स द फेवरेट टेस्ट फूड आई मीन ऑल्सो आई मस्ट जो उमिंग um uh, that a with the kind of work that you're doing you are eating a lot of great <laughs> good and not so great food as well yeah. and also traveling across the country yeah uh, so what has what has been the most uh, craziest favorite food so far and you can talk about food brands as well since you are the host of yeah. brands decoded so hum unse <laughs> hum unse paise baad mein le lenge lekin aap abhi batao ha batao yeah uh see honestly being a foodie mere ko to i mean i enjoy a lot of different foods yaar it's bit aise it's very difficult for me to pick one but what i'll answer in this question is in my sauce vc experience right maybe yeah. what has been a great food experience right yeah um so there's one very distinctive experience okay uh, because mm-hmm. it was really unexpected mm-hmm. uh, uh, xyxx ye hamari ek company hai jinhe humne invest kiya tha and uh, that company initially was based out of surat and they still have like a warehouse and facility there and they have one in bombay and i went to surat for the first time and hmm. uh, uh i mean i had been to gujarat once I, as a kid i don't really remember food being very important part of the experience ek shayad galti se chuskiya snow cone type kuch khaya tha sahi tha mere ko aur kuch yaad nahi hai uh and in surat i remember uh, uh, yogesh he treated us to this चंदन ऑमलेट सेंटर वेर यू गेट एग्स मैंने अपने जिंदगी के बेस्ट एग सूरत में खाए good price point like uh, great product was uh, picked by pavlo ki tarah so that and that's like a part of my uh, uh, ex, you know honestly is part of my sauce vc experience which has been a great food uh, yeah, and wow. in terms of brands um uh, 
let's see i mean mai to bahut khaya hai bahut sare food brands it be difficult to pick one underrated koi bata do aap favorite bhai chalo underrated aapke apne brand bhi ho sakte hain apne wale bhi ho sakte hain um ye na isko log fir cut hame bhej dena ha acha um underrated i would say is um कैसे चुने इतने लोगों को पैसा दे रखा है कैसे चुने नहीं नहीं पैसे तो होल्ड की बात ठीक है होल्ड ट्रूथ हो गया हो गया हम होल्ड ट्रूथ होल्ड से बाद में निपटेंगे आई थिंक देर इज दिस ब्रांड कॉल्ड लॉयका यू नो दे मेक आलमंड ब्रिटल टेस्टी कुछ तो कुछ तो मिले कैटेगरी भी चलेगा अपने को हम समझ लेंगे हम ऐसे हम समझदार हैं आंख मार लेना हम आंख मार लेंगे समझ समझदार को इशारा काफी है वही समझदार हम है <laughs> जो जो साउंड जो सुन रहा है स्पॉटिफाई अमेजोन म्यूजिक या एप्पल पॉडकास्ट पे वीडियो पे आके देख लीजिए कि हम आंख मार रहे हैं नहीं <laughs> YouTube पे आके देख लीजिए सी हम बताए अपने आई थिंक आई थिंक मखाना ब्रांड कौन सी कंपनी बात हो रही है क्योंकि मखाना ना यार आप घर पर भी आराम से बना सकते हैं स्टोर कर सकते हैं इट्स हेल्दी इट्स टेस्टी एंड आई थिंक दैट आई मीन I rather than overrated, maybe I meant to say overpriced. <laughs> I think both. Okay, so, चलेगा. So I would I say agree. some makhana, yeah. Sadaf, आपके क्या हैं? मैं मैं I agree. I'm I completely agree with you. Also, हाँ. see, uh, growing up in United States of Bihar, makhana ऐसे चलते फिरते मिलता था, ठीक है? हाँ. तो वहाँ पे ही उगता है वहीं पर, ठीक है? I remember the very first time जब मखाना मैं घर पे लेके आया था ऐसी flavored packet वाले, ठीक है? Fancy बिल्कुल साठ सत्तर रुपए का ऐसे. और मैंने मम्मी को दिखाया मम्मी लगी है क्या है <laughs> मखाना <laughs> चीज लाइक तो मेरे को बोलते मैं मदर लाइक बोलते दो मिनट बनाए थे <laughs> मखाना पड़ा हुआ है तो इट्स अ आई थिंक इट्स अ गुड थिंग टू जस्ट शो ऑफ लाइक आप ऐसे डेट वेट पे गए हो या फिर पब्लिक में तो <laughs> चिप्स कौन खाता है यू सो एलस हम मखाना खाते हैं घर पे भले ही आके आप वही चिप्स खा रहे लेकिन वहां पे जो आपका आई थिंक मखाना कंपनी आपका अच्छे से काट रही है घर पे बना लो घर पे बना लो say so, yeah, i agree with aaj aaj do you have mere office apart from mere office mein na matlab ab to work from home chal raha hai but office mein na makhane aise rakhe hote the and you could just pick it up for no additional cost so that why i used to consume a lot of these makhana brands because i didn't have to pay out of my pocket for it but i have never really bought makhana after that a free mile to kuch bhi kha lo नहीं 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 ऐसा जहर जहर छोड़ के 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 बैल दांत गिनते सो बेसिकली शादी तो अगर शादी में अगर कोई बैल मिल रहा है आपको तो उसके दांत वात नहीं गिनते दांत गिनते अच्छा है नहीं है फ्री मिल रहा है तो कुछ भी मिले अंडर फूड ब्रांड नो यार आई एम वेरी मैं बहुत ही मतलब लॉयल हुई नहीं मुझे मुझे सब लगता है अंडर रेटेड मुझे सब लगता है मुझे जो मिले मैं उठा लेता हूँ 
बिल इनवॉइस भेजना पड़ेगा उससे हमें हां आई एम आई जनरली आई एम अ फैन ऑफ द बॉल्स एंड एंड वन ऑफ द टाइम्स ऑफलाइन अच्छी तो मैं इस पे बात भी कर रहे थे आई थिंक शशांक ओनली केम अप विद दिस एडवर्टाइजमेंट वीडियो वेयर ही वाज लुकिंग फॉर इन्फ्लुएंसर्स या हां लुकिंग फॉर इन्फ्लुएंसर्स हु एक्चुअली होल्ड ट्रूथ इन अ वे सो दैट वाज रियली इंटरेस्टिंग एड कैंपेन एज़ वेल या आई लाइक द होल ट्रूथ मार्केटिंग कैंपेन एंड एंड शशांक विल आल्सो टेक आवर जॉब ही has his own youtube videos talking about healthy foods intermittent fasting what not so shashank dur ro shashank ko suno na shashank ko bula hi lo theek hai ha so i don't have any underrated brand per se ha um matlab sabhi theek hai i i think one underrated brand is uh, this brand called wicked good so they make uh. pasta with uh, chickpeas brown rice and dal so all, they make uh. all types of pastas मैक्रोनी पेने फ्यूजली सब टाइप के बनाते हैं ऐसा नहीं कि ओके कॉन्टेक्स नॉर्मली अगर आप हेल्दी पास्ता हेल्दी नूडल्स लेने जाओ उसमें लिखा होता है ब्राउन राइस पास्ता कीनुआ पास्ता चिकपी पास्ता बट इफ यू रीड द इंग्रीडियंट्स इट्स लाइक फाइव परसेंट चिकपी नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट वीट बट इसमें दे एक्चुअली हैव अराउंड फिफ्टी परसेंट आई थिंक चिकपी रफली एंड देन ओनली लाइक टेन फिफ्टीन परसेंट ब्राउन राइस सो इट्स एक्चुअली रियली गुड a uh, quantity of chickpea so check that out oh nice yeah, yeah. yeah. so oh, favorite yeah. favorite food hota hai favorite uh, wo to hai pata hai bada chicken pata hai are ye ek brand hai butter chicken ka acha favorite brand bhi chahiye oh um brand there's a brand called uh, hmm naam bhul gaya main ha it's called thanjai thanjai makes cold pressed oil so they make cold pressed sesame oil cold pressed coconut oil and cold pressed uh uh mustard oil hand ground oil so is amazon pe available hai and they make it the traditional not just cold press wooden cold press jaise uh india mein produce hote ja raha hai for thousands of thousands of years okay, uh, right. so that's a good brand and none of these nice. brands have paid us by the way i mean if they like to pay us my pocket my favorite open. brand is my favorite brand is nirma doodh ki safedi nirma se aaye hum khate hain nirma ke bars ke वाई दे एक्सा एक्सेस दे क्रोमो तो बात कर रहे हो आप भेज देना भेज देना सदफ को सदफ इज एन इन्फ्लुएंसर सदफ इन्फ्लुएंसर वाज चड्डी बिल्कुल बाहर पैंट के ऊपर स्टोरी डालेंगे पैंट के ऊपर चड्डी डालेंगे हम लोग हां या खैर तो नो आई सेड कि अंडर ओवररेटेड जो है बिकॉज़ आई एम नॉट रियली अ ब्रांड लॉयलिस्ट आई यूजुअली एंड आई कीप ऑन एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग न्यू थिंग्स क्या है इसे इसको ट्राई करते हैं उसको ट्राई करते हैं आई हार्डली सेटल डाउन विद थिंग्स क्या है तो सभी अच्छे हैं सभी बुरे वाला हाल है मेरा राइट आई थिंक ओवररेटेड इज केचप बिकॉज़ केचप हैज लाइक केचप इज मोस्टली जस्ट शुगर हार्डली थोड़ा सा टोमेटो होता है मोस्टली शुगर सो हम समझ गए कौन सी कंपनी की बात कर रहे हैं समझ गए ओवररेटेड मैंने अंडररेटेड नहीं बोला ना ओवररेटेड नहीं ओवररेटेड नहीं समझ गए समझ गए सारी कंपनी देख लो भाई हमारे ही मार्केटिंग वाले बोलेंगे लो ये कंपनी भी गई है भी नहीं आई किस पॉइंट सही Awesome. So thank you, Zoya. This was really fun. Uh, great, great uh, sort of conversation. Or, uh, हम दुकान करते हैं बंद अभी फिलहाल. Or, मैं घर पे कंबुचा बनाता हूँ, Zoya. I'll talk to you about this later. बाद में हम इसे offline करते हैं. ठीक है जी. Okay. चलो दुकान लगाएँ फिर. दुकान बंद करें. चलो कबाब वो खाते हैं.